Hey guys, how's it going? Nostalgia Games here, and I am here today with a bit of a weird one, doing Plants vs. Zombies. And I know you might be like, what? That's not normally what you do. And I would say, joke's on you. Making content is not normally what I do. Ha! God, that's so stupid. Anyway, uh, there's a new plant called the Pea Vine that came out, and I love it. But uh, that's not why I'm making the video. I didn't just make a video because I'm like, oh, it was a cool new thing. So there is a uh, an arena mode where you can go to win the P thing. And you can see on the right-hand side, I am uh, kind of just absolutely destroying people. Uh, I've got 287 crowns. And you can see when I tap this, I need 13 more trophies to get uh, the unlock for the P vine. I already have it unlocked because I spent money on it because I love the plant. Uh, that is not the point the point is i would be unlocking it right now and uh you can see i've won six in a row going on seven uh i found a way to optimize this and cheat it a little bit there's nothing to it but to just it's gross it's real gross um most of the people i compete with and this is because i'm in the soil league most of the people around here are getting like thirty-nine thousand to fifty thousand. But I found other videos online of people doing this, and they're still not doing what I think is the correct way to do it. And they're getting, you know, maybe a million points, maybe two million points. It's fine, but you can get so many more. So check this out. Uh, I've got my free gauntlet, so I'm just going to use it. I still have more, but I wanted to save a little bit for the video. So I'm doing three on in the video right here. So I'm going to do one with what I was doing originally, right? So we're just gonna play the game the way I played the game. And I actually still have the plants I was using. Right, because I got the appeasement and I was like, oh, the appeasement's so good, it's, it's great. And it is, but you know what? Let's, let's get rid of the, yeah. And let's go with the original thing I had, which was this. And what was it? Oh, and then I had that just for like collateral damage right someone might beat me here and i'm on my seventh pinata and that makes me a little nervous but i'm gonna do what i was originally doing which i thought was a good idea right so you put these sunflowers here these double sunflowers and you can afford to put a pea vine on all of them i know some of you are screaming at me and by some of you i mean like one percent of you are screaming at me Give it a second. This is how I was doing it. Was is the keyword. So let's rock. You know, okay. So the pea vine is an extra layer of pea shooters back on these plants. And you know, it does its job. It's, it's pretty good at what it do. So you can put this on here and you can immediately blast that guy in the hamster ball. And uh, honestly, it does a good job of keeping itself. So these bottom three rows are what I'm focused on here. I want to get as much of that as possible stocked up because they're going to overrun these. So we're just going to go ahead and I am actually losing. Oh, I did the wrong strat. I did the wrong strat because I'm used to the other game. Uh-oh. Okay, get that out of here. Plant more pea vines. I might still win this. Uh, kill these. Yeah, I'm getting my butt handed to me. I'm losing my seven win streak for this. I hope you guys agree. Uh, no, 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 no. Get out of here. Get out of here. So you can see I'm like kind of struggling with this. It's uh, like they're doing damage. They're doing good. My strat's working kind of. They haven't overrun the plants I care about, right? This bottom row, like I was saying. Bottom row is just fine. It's doing good. It, like, look, it's just, it's just absolutely bodying the zombies that get anywhere near me. So I'm just gonna put that there. Boom, boom, boom. Get another. Like, it's doing, it's doing real good. And you can occasionally just be like, I need more points. Boom. Zombies dead. And fine. And this is pretty sustainable. It's not until you get a gargantuar coming down that second lane that you really have a problem. Because, like, it even kills this guy before he gets there, if I'm not mistaken. Can't risk it. Kill him. Kill him. Put that there. 
So yeah, you can see that it overruns eventually, right? And eventually it'll just leave you with one, maybe two lanes if you're lucky. But so far we're we're doing good. We're uh, we're making it for what it's worth. We're putting in some good work. Get these here, kill these guys. Cherry bomb. So yeah, you can make this. And I, look, I'm surviving, and I've got almost a million points, right? Like, I thought I was doing good. And, you know, as I was saying, some of these people are getting, uh, like, a million points. Some of them are getting, like, 30,000. And then this guy's over here with a third of a million points. Just making me look like a fool. Okay. Well fought, Dre. You did good. Uh, and look, he even had some premium plants in there. I was using uh, free plants, and I'm only going to use free plants. Like, my lineup doesn't really change. So, looks good, right? Oh, we, he and I actually both had the uh, the primitive pea shooter. Whatever. I don't know why he had the spud mine. So, fine. You're like, all right, cool. That gives you your, uh, let's just crack open that pinata real quick. Something useless. Snow pea, great. I don't have that unlocked. Uh, I'm mostly a free-to-play player. Uh, there's occasionally, if something piques my interest, I'll get it, but it's very, very rare for me. Um, but that being said, I was like, okay, I think I got this figured out. So that's what I was doing. It was a pretty good strat. Well, you can agree, that, that'll win most of your matches. It's, you know, it's good. So we're going to use one more gauntlet. So if you didn't get the full look at it earlier the arena match all right the thing that was fooling me and i mean, i was even experimenting uh before i had the uh appeasement here which i unlocked through the wind streaks <laughs> getting this pea vine um if you're not paying attention to that you might think that some of these little spikes are important because you see the little hamster balls over here but uh Here's the thing that, like, galaxy-brained me, right? You see those Torchwoods? I used it last game, and I didn't know about it until I started feeding them plant food. They're on power tiles from the far future. If you haven't played that yet, the power tile just means if you put a plant food on one of them, they all get the plant food effect, okay? So if I just put plant food on this top, you know, Torchwood here, all of them get the plant food effect, right? So that sounds fine. Um, I'll show you why this is so galaxy brain in a minute. And we're just going to use... Like, all right, so you saw my previous score, right? It was like 800,000, maybe 900,000. It's shy of a million. I'm just going to use basic plants, right? I'm not even using the double sunflower. I'm just going to use basic plants. Yeah, that's everything I need. Let's go. Okay. Right. You saw the guy using premium plants. So I'm going to plant these here. Going to put these on the torchwoods. Right. You win. You win right there. But just in case, we're going to go ahead and plant these, these little uh, walnuts to help give us a buffer. And we have 300... Uh, and 75 sun to spare. So we're just going to put this here. And uh, these are going to be our our safety lanes. And uh, just to be sure, I'm going to put a little spud mine right there. Yeah, perfect. Okay, let's go. So uh, I... And then I'll, I'll show you the, the strat that I'm running a little after this. But this is all you need. Don't shoot the dinosaurs because they're not doing anything. Plant food. As soon as you start seeing zombies, plant food. Look, you start getting points. Start getting sun. It's fine. And when you see them start to get past this halfway point here, just power through it. Just kill all the zombies on the screen. That buys you time. All right. So you see another wave coming. You plant food. You got pea shooters everywhere. These priority rows you do whatever so get plant food you can only hold three plant foods you might as well just use them you just use them to wipe the board just clear it every possible second you can 
because it does matter. Anytime you see this hamster ball coming, pop it open. Yeah, clears the gargantuars. It clears the entire board every time. It doesn't matter what I have here. Like you can see, some of those uh, some of those little imps were using my uh, my spud mines, but you can override that by alternating spud mines and potato or um, spud mines and walnuts. And it's it's just it's so good. Look at that! It just destroys everything. Okay, maybe not that guy. Get him out of here. Get it. No! Okay, well, they, they did it. They got one zombie through. We're already at 2 million points, though, so does it really matter? Right, does does it really matter? Anyway, the P-Vine goes first, so it actually gives your Torchwoods a little bonus health, too. Like, right there, that guy got his uh, P-Vine stolen. Alright, let's try this again. Yeah, and you just wipe the whole board, man. I've got almost 3 million points, and I am using only basic plants. It's so gross. And you can just leave the constant barrage going if you feel like it. If you want a couple extra points, put the plant on the spud. Let the spud go out here and kill some stuff, right? That's why I had the cherry bomb originally, because I was like, oh, it can do some, it can do some solid work, right? But... Fine, it's it's clearing most of the board. I've got almost four million points. The guy, the poor guy over here, uh, actually might have gotten real close to beating me uh, last game. Okay, well, I'm using uh, basic plants, so I want this to go away because they will kill my last line of plants. But yeah, that's it. That's that's what you're uh, that's what you're going towards. That's the gist. Your most important plants are the ones the game provides for you uh, free of charge because you can't play the arena without the pea vine. Uh, that's kind of the the gimmick. Multiple games in a row. Cool. And it starts my streak over. But yeah, we just absolutely demolished this man. It's no contest. It's not even close. Okay, guys. So for the last one, I'm going to show you what I've been doing. And I, it's funny enough, I might actually score less than the basic plant version, but it's it's too fun not to do. Uh, similar concept, right? And we're using that to piggyback. Uh, we're using those torchwoods to piggyback us into what we're doing. So I'm taking these. I want this again. The appeasement and my brain stopped working for a second. I want the power tile. And this last plant really doesn't matter. I like the walnut, but, you know, if you got something like the power lily that you think would do good, then, you know, cool. Go for it. But uh, let's go. Let's just drop everything in here. And I can reload this. Hang on a second. Oh, the nice thing, while you're planning, or, or while you're planting, the only thing you can't dig up are the torchwoods, because they're required. Anything else you can dig up, it gives you the full price back. So, like, if I, uh, so the walnuts cost 50, right? I can dig up the walnut. And it gives me 50 sun. Right? It's nice. Um, so, while you're planting, if you accidentally misclick and stick something somewhere, then uh, no biggie. So, that is very, very similar to what I did last time, except now I've got the double sun row instead of the extra plant protection. It doesn't make a difference. Uh, we're just going to click go. This time we're going to wait a minute on the zombies, though. All right. We're going to wait until they get into this third column away from us. Right in the middle, the hamster ball. And now they die. Like, just throw it at them. Give them hell. And we're planting the power tile on the bottom sunflower along with the pea shooter, okay? So you wait a second for the zombies to reload. Just plow through them. We've got enough sun for the second power tile. All right, you guys see where I'm going with this? Smell what I'm stepping in? And we're just keeping these off of our plants for long enough to be able to do this. Yeah, just pop those in there. 
So now we've got three power tiles, and we're producing so much sun every time we do this that it uh, it just doesn't matter. Oh, I let them get a little too close. My bad. I was, uh, I was busy talking. It is, you know, somewhat hard to concentrate and talk at the same time, but I'm gonna put this here, boost my plants. Go ahead and destroy the whole fields. Okay, thanks. Put that on there. And go one more. These here. Get the big rolls. And then there we go. We've got every back row power tiled. So now we get sun every time we do it as well. And it just, uh, oh, they ate that torch wood up there. No. Whatever. Just, can I? Nope, I can't kill it in time. Unfortunate, but hey, what you gonna do? The zombies get progressively stronger by a huge margin, by the way. Uh, every time you... Every time you clear them. So the more zombies you clear, the stronger they get. They just get stronger and stronger over time. Which, you know... All good. It doesn't matter. These last, these last three ro rows uh, prioritize whichever one has the torch wood on it. So if it has a torch wood, uh, that's where you want your plants. Like that is absolutely what you want to be focusing because this doubles uh, the torch wood here doubles their damage. You can even like I've got enough. Sun. I've got five thousand sun. So I wasn't doing it that good, but uh, you guys get the idea. You can put some crazy... You can literally plant whatever you want. You have all the sun in the world. Um, you can do anything. You can do anything with this. And it's it's just as effective. The guy got 247,000. And we're over here with uh, almost 3 million. And I think last time I got a little over 3 million. So I, I think I did better with the basic plants. But... Uh, kind of doesn't matter because the you get the point the point is you use the uh torch woods to just blast through everything you clear the entire board constantly and that's how you unlock the pea vine as long as you have enough gauntlets and again the game gives you uh free plays every so often oh here's my actually here's my unlock for it yeah 150 p vines which would be enough to unlock it but that's enough to make mine level three because you know I spent money on the game, like an idiot. Yeah, whatever. Uh, I just really like the pea vine. It's a great plant. Um, once you do that, it, it gives you more to upgrade it later. But uh, there you go. You just click upgrade. It doesn't cost gold or anything. It's just boom, done. Cool. And it, like, it's so stupid. So it boosts the power of any plant in its family. And funny enough, the Torchwood is in its family. So it just exponential damage boosts. It's insane. It's actually insane. Anyway, thank you guys. I appreciate you checking out the video. I appreciate you watching to the end. Um, so there you go. There's a free plant in Plants vs. Zombies if you want to claim it. Uh, if not, you can get the little daily rewards, which I, by themselves are pretty nice. Like you can see down here at the bottom of the screen, I've got the pinatas. There's a thousand gold, some mints. The mints are how I unlocked that appeasement that I was using earlier. Um, get a lot of really good stuff. And in the uh, the pea vine season, even if you don't unlock the pea vine, which is fine because I mean, you've got a whole month to unlock the thing, right? Uh, but if you don't, there's still a lot of really good rewards that are completely free along the way. And the only thing you do is just you click the free play and you earn free gauntlets with ads. That's it. That's all you do. Okay, well, hopefully I can get back to making more content sometime soon. I just thought that would be a, uh, a fun little thing to point out to you guys. Have fun. Hopefully get some of you guys going with uh, with your own pea vines, just because it's a great plant. And why not take it if it's free, right? Okay. Thanks so much, guys. Have a good one. Okay. So before I start this recording... I gotta let the cat out of the bag a little bit. So I'm wearing headphones and they're only being used to monitor my audio. But there's a secret AirPod so I can hear my tablet. <laughs>
so I can like listen to the game audio. So 